Hello, I'm Thomas Carruthers. I'm Will Leggetter. And today we have a special guest. Oh, okay. No, go for it. 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 I'm Ava Robinson. Oh, very good. And uh, yes, we have a new guest. We have Ava Robinson. Uh, and it's a toss up between you both on who gets to introduce the film. Because Will has the advantage of it being his number one, but Ava has the advantage of new guest. Oh, it's, I feel like, I feel like it should go to Will because I, because at number one, have it as your number one, that's a pretty big thing. So I relate. I, I agree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so take uh, it away, right. well. Let's do it. Well, Back to the Future. Steven Spielberg presents Back to the Future, a Robert Zemeckis film. Marty leads an ordinary life. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Well, history is going to change. And 1985 is not his year. Uh, my favourite film of all time. Uh, in, it came out in the, the cinemas in 1985. Directed by Robert Zemeckis, produced by Stephen. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful movie. Stephen who? Um, <laughs> are you good friends with him? <laughs> um, I, I call him Steve. So, oh, uh, yeah, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen on the, on the radio. But um, <laughs> no, it, it's just a, a wonderful film. It's got great rewatchability. It's got great nostalgia. I wish I lived in the 80s. If, oh, I mean, we'll have this conversation later. If you could use... The DeLorean to go anywhere. I'd go back to 1985 and then go then back to 1955 with Michael J. Fox. So you're doing the if I had a wish I'd ask for more wishes. Okay. Well <laughs> let's just do it now as an opener. Ava where would you take it? Oh um... 1963 to stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's an um... Yeah, yeah, literally. Um, no, I'd probably go, well, I know this will be a later episode that I'll be on on Saturday. Next week. Um, Days and Confused. Um, but that, even though that was filmed in 93, um, that was set in 1976, which I absolutely adore. Like, that is my number one. So I would probably do the same thing that Will would do. I'd go back um, and just, yeah, probably 70s. I'd probably... Yeah, 55's good. Small town, fifty-five. I'm I'm surprised you haven't said you'd go back to the the set of Caddyshack, just hang out with. Oh. Uh... I would like to go back <laughs> to the set of Caddyshack. <laughs> that would be good. I'm not a big cocaine guy. Well, no, I'm a drinker. Me and I oh, know Rodney used to do the coke. You're Rodney. <laughs> That's hot. <head>. Looks good. <laughs> you buy a hat like that, you get a free bowl of soup. I think this place is restricted, Wang, so don't tell me you're Jewish. Okay, fine. Oh, this is the worst-looking hat I ever saw. Well, you buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? Oh, it looks good on you, though. Hey, Whitey, where's your hat? Oh, it looks good on you, though. <laughs> uh, Caddyshack, excellente. Uh, we'll do Caddyshack. And Ava will oh, be there. Ava famously you know dislikes Caddyshack. Do you know who asked me this morning if you were doing Caddyshack? Oh, I hope it's the real Mrs. Robinson. You're indeed, it is her. Oh, this is great. <laughs> well, <laughs> we won't have you, but we'll have your mum for, uh, <laughs> for Caddyshack. <laughs> uh, yes, but enough about Caddyshack. Yeah. Bloody hell. Back to the future. The but Dr. Brown is about to change all that. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Of a He's sending Marty 30 years back in time. It works! It's a flying saucer from outer space! Ah! Now, he's trapped in the past. This has got to be a dream. About to meet... Chocolate. ...his future father. He's a baby. Tough. 1985. Let's jump straight into opening line Hall of Fame. October is inventory time at Toyota. <laughs> Why did you have to do that, Tom? It's Why? true. It's... That's the line. <laughs> That's the line. There's no way to get around it. 
I quite like this, the opening scene. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm using my argument against myself now because. Yeah. Also, uh, I, I it, think we would be remiss to mention that Will is dressed in full, <laughs> in full garb, and we've not mentioned it yet. That's pretty great. I've got the DeLorean parked outside. Mm. There's Doc in it. Uh, no, no. No, it's, it's uh, Jennifer <laughs> from part, part two when she's knocked out of oh. the whole film. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, did you know? I mean, it's not a fun fact. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, Claudia Wells' mother <coughs> was dying of cancer. So she uh, gave up her role in uh, part two, part three. To I who? Elizabeth I don't Hugh. like part two. At all? No. Do oh. you jump back on for part three or have you already gone? <sighs> yeah, three, three is above two in my opinion, but it's, it's, solely, it's solely based upon the fact that I have always had this thing about um, futuristic, like set in the future, weird premises like I'm like even Blade Runner and like Fifth Element like just I, I I appreciate them as films but I just get creeped out by the setting of like what they envision the future to be and it's the future, all like but it's the past <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah because the first one how can you be the first one oh you can't can. they definitely decrease in value I think mm. for me it's more of a steady decrease I think it's one two three mm. um, yeah uh, Will, I believe you're in agreement. Uh, yes, I, I, the, I was saying last uh, last week uh, there was one point when I I did think two was the best one. Mm. Um, it, it's just got really. I really like the the whole Biff thing at the end. It's yeah, very good. The fifties stretch in part two, where you've got where they're trying to get it, and you've got the multiple different people. Yeah, I really like that. But I, I, I think, I think I'm well. with Ava. I'm not a big fan of the the Biff as yeah, and like when it all whatever. basically, when it all just goes, you know, completely like alternate and, and the fact that like it, it's like, because it's a space time continuum that it's permanent and yet it could still be changed if you can, you know, yeah. use the DeLorean. But just the fact when Marty first discovers that it's this alternate thing and also it kind of decreases momentarily the significance of everything that happened in the first movie, what George McFly is now dead, like... So, no fate, yeah. but what we make ourselves. No fate. No fate, but what we make. <laughs> Different film. Uh, <laughs> go on, then. Let's just throw this in. What's the best time travel movie? I'll allow the Terminators. I mean, obviously, I'll allow the Terminators. They're time travel mm. movies. I think you know my answer. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I can't, the, do you want to know the first thing I thought of was Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. What I about like, um, Guy bo- Pierce's a- Time Machine? I was about to, yeah. The soundtrack for that, though, is wonderful. What, what about your, where does About it Time. Yeah, about about time. time. Your yes, number that's, six. That's the second best time travel movie. Over the Terminators? Yes. Mm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider them like initially as a time travel movie. You know. Yeah. But that's just. But yes, they are. Uh, <laughs> best YouTube comments. Let's see what the public think. <laughs> Go over to the phones. Um, the original Rick and Morty. <laughs> Lol. I can imagine people in the eighties watching this trailer and say, this movie is going to suck. Do you think people were thinking it was going to? Have you heard well, this idea? In the, in the um, well, certainly like pretty much every studio thought it would suck. Mm. Um, and just purely because of the, if you think about it like in isolation, if you were to read that script with like zero context mm. or just zero inclination of what it could be, it wouldn't really strike you as like this family friendly, nostalgic classic, would you? If you know, because of the incest, like that's why you can't be there, the yeah. incest part of this film. Like, <laughs> you cannot step around it, you can't circumvent <laughs> it. Um, yeah. 
October the 21st. I can't believe we're finally here. Mm. Um, a weird one now. God bless everyone still waking up every day chasing their dreams. Salute. Is that is that a French <laughs> or American? Is that like a salut? That's from M Gang 20 TV. Not 20. <laughs> Uh, the king of all movies. I am clapping right oh. now. Tom, you've been replaced. By who? Oh, am I the king? Oh, thank you. That's from Chaco Mordaz. Oh. A lot of people saying they came here after watching Endgame. Less said about Endgame, the better. I just watched this movie for the very first time, and the ending had me totally confused. I was lost. <laughs> What, are they what is, is Jay confused about? <laughs> That's not the future that he left. <laughs> Things are different now. <laughs> he didn't have a Jeep. Yeah, are they like infants or are they like old? I don't know. It's just a black silhouette. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Jay, get back to us. Here we go. I actually became a little choked up. Hope stirred in my heart. Aww. And that's from XXX Amateur Sex Videos. Click here. <laughs> <laughs> My third favourite movie. So glad most people love it. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> I'm so glad most people enjoy it. <clears throat> There's those pesky people that don't. Mm. Um, do we remember our first time <clears throat> with Back to the Future? <laughs> Um, I think for me, it was always like, I don't remember owning it on DVD, which is, you know, my parents' fault. Um, but I remember that it was always the one that was like on TV, you know, on the weekends or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. And it took me or, you know, when I was a lot younger, just visually like piecing together, like, oh, between watching that one and the second one because they are so visually similar in terms of you know the sets and everything um to a while to like recollect oh you know i like the one where this happens but not the one where like it's the dance but then there's two martys like i like the first one and then i then piece together that everything i liked was in fact the first one in isolation i had the oh, the, the trilogy on on uh videotape oh back, back in the good old days mm -hmm. um and I remember for a, a school talent show, it must have been like year four, um, I decided to sing Mr. Sandman. Um, and so instead of looking up the lyrics, I like rigorous, rigorously watched that scene and stopped and started it and tried to write down what they were singing rather than just asking someone, what are the words? So it took me all day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> rewinding that one scene in Back to the Future. Uh, well... Let's Mr. Wonga. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Wonga. Famously taken. Um, <laughs> how many, yeah, do you think people now think that, like young children, do you think they think that Mr. Wonga is just a jingle and they have no idea that it's actually a song? Yeah, probably. Speaking of music, let's just go down this soundtrack. Oh. Oh. Power of Love, Hugh Lewis in the News. Oh, Back in time, Hugh Lewis in the News. Heaven is One Step Away, Eric Clapton and Phil Collins. Time Bomb Town, Lindsay Buckingham. Mr. Sandman by Pat Ballard. Night Train, performed by Marvin Berry and the Starlighters. Earth Angel. Oh, trying to be good. And, and trying to be good. It's, uh, what's the best track? on that soundtrack. Power of Love. Yeah. Honestly. I've really gotten into Back in Time over this past I, week, rewatching it. <laughs> I, went, I went through that like a year ago, like Power of Love was literally like, like the ultimate, but then I was like, oh yeah. And then it like crept into like more and more, I'd listen to it, but no, like, yeah. Sam Adapter. Like Let's just talk about Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis, what a man. Do we all know the big fact about Huey Lewis? Yes. I, was, I, I, I was surprised. I, I never realised. One of the famously uh, largest penises in the music industry. 
Do we know the other famous long one? You've told me. Oh, oh no, Sting's, he lasts long. He lasts, he, he uh, practices tantric sex. It's Chris Isaac. I'm sure there are other yeah. people, but uh, yeah, Chris Isaac and Hugh Lewis. Because uh, you know what they both have? <coughs> that surprise factor where it's like, oh, they're not a arsehole. They're nice guys. Um, no, Hugh Lewis is great. What's the better Hugh Lewis uh, in a film? Is it this or is it... Do you like Hugh Lewis in the news? The American psycho killing of... Uh, that That is a very good scene. Um <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, this, this, or is this it is the funny or die sketch where Hugh Lewis recreates American Psycho talking about American Psycho and he kills Weird Al? <laughs> I've not seen that. And, no. he, and he takes a pill and what does the pill say? New drug. Are we not diehard Hugh Lewis fans? Do we not like new drug? No. Oh, well, I'll have to save all this for my Hugh Lewis podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. The news, the newscast, and people keep tuning in. Oh, let's let's see about Corona. What's happening? The news. And it's just me <laughs> going to song by song. Also underrated, I really like Time Bomb Town by Lindsay Buckingham. It's all right. I think they're all very well-chosen songs. Mm. They're all about time. Johnny Be Good? Yes. I'm I'm literally a sucker for Earth Angel, like that oh. scene, like oh my god, yeah. Well, but then it just yeah, like Johnny Be Good for me is like just a little something extra, but Earth Angel for me is like the that's, completion. Yeah, that's, that's a nice segue into best ten minute stretch because I've got without a shadow of a doubt Earth Angel Johnny Be Good. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I the bit where the Earth Angel oh. swells. And they kiss. And just that. Flawless. Oh my God. Um, I went to see uh, Back to the Future at the South Bank Centre with the Czechoslovakian uh, Orchestra. It was, a, it was a lovely gift. It was a great time. Um, Marvel, absolutely incredible. With a, that, hearing that score, with that big an orchestra, um, the, the person I went with got very annoyed because... Um, at the end of the film, pe people started clapping because the film ended and the orchestra obviously jumped in and started doing a, the theme. And she got very annoyed that they were clapping over the orchestra. But all the same, uh, it was an excellent uh, ex. And if they do, I think they did a tour, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Because you can never see it too many times and that music, poor. Anybody else? Uh, Marty, I mean, Will, uh, what's your 10 minutes uh, stretch? I, I fully agree. I think it's yeah. Are you, wonderful. Yeah, Ava, are you, are you, you played your cards earlier. Are you in on that too? Yeah. Um, obviously, like, Earth Angel and Johnny be good, but if, they're, if, they're, if it fit in the 10 minutes, then obviously the bit before that is when um, George uh, comes to um, Elaine's rescue. Thank you. And... Um, but then, because that, yeah, like, obviously that's the bit that just, like, starts it. Well, that's his, you know, arc completed. Um, but then everything else that follows is just, oh. Yeah, it's, oh, my God. Like, the more it's I a great film. It, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> that final 40 from the prom just all the way to the end is unassailable. You cannot yeah. beat it. The, 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 the. Pace never lessens, the humour in points never lessens, only for tension. Every time, every time you're, a, you're stupid and you're a fool, but every time, ooh, ooh, are they going to get it? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, you know full well. Uh, but it does that, uh, that brilliant thing of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Great film. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tom's weirdly specific favourite part of the film. The kiss, when uh, at the end of Power of Love, where they kiss and the music's been faded, but then yeah. they kiss and then <sighs> it's the Power of Love. That's, yeah, yeah. That's um, actually alarming because, yeah. That's Same. yours. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, no, I've got, I've got four more. Uh, <laughs> when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, if my calculations are correct, I'm going to see some serious shit. The way he delivers it, mm. or it's vaguely mumbled, <laughs> Christopher Lloyd in this film, rather excellente. Oh, oh yes. Is Second this to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. That's, that's, his, best, oh, that's his best role. That's I'm going to say fantastic Cuckoo. Role. I'm going to say Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> he's really good in Cuckoo's Nest. But um, I, I think no. he's fantastic in Adam's Family Values. Well, there we oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> and cut to a goat. <laughs> 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 And then cut to a- Ava. Do you have a cut to that you want us to throw in? Um, Gomez told me no giggling. <laughs> no, no giggling. Will do you have a, a fester that you want to cut to? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh well. Well, I'll steal so, yours. I'll just go for a, a couple of uh, dippy. I'll just take a couple of dippy. Oh, what a film! Oh no, no, no! I know what I want to cut to. Is it string? What is it? Is it string? You never know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a what a wonderful film, which we will most certainly get to. I, I don't know if you've seen the schedule yet, Ava, but we're planning the Joan Cusack attack. Oh, where we're going God. to where we're doing <laughs> Adam Assembly Values, In and Out, School of Rock, and Arlington oh. Road. Gonna be a Sounds great, great. It's gonna be great. Would it be educational? <laughs> great, great woman. Um, and then we'll just and then we'll rewatch the ten minute scene where she's um, in person bleeding, bleeding, of bleeding a ball flower, perk of being a ball flower. Uh, where she just they don't give her any lines. It's very annoying. I mean, they do. She's like, hey, it's like in Sixteen Candles when she's got the neck back brace on yeah but that's because she's like the first roles one of the first roles you don't cast her anyway moving on enough about Jim Cusack um exchange at the diner with uh well Mr Carruthers (laughs) (laughs) at the diner uh the whole I'll have a tab you can't have a tab if you don't pay ask for something uh, I'll have a Pepsi free. If you want a Pepsi, you're going to pay for it. That, back and forth, top notch. Can't beat it. Uh, I, forgive me the crudity of this model. Um, maybe oh. maybe one of the best, maybe the best character in the film? No. <laughs> Go on. That's, that's uh, better. Throw it out. Throw it out, Will. What are you saying? Ah. Uh, I, I can't name it. We're going to have to find it. <laughs> but I, I, I've just got lots of good bits, but that's, that's it's not good. my turn yet. I'm letting you have your very Biff, precise moments. Biff going, um, that car cost me 300 bucks. I'm going to take it out your ass. <laughs> I mean, I know it's supposed to sound threatening. I, is he going to, what? I'm going to take it out your ass. How does he get it in there in the first place? That's, is he, that's yeah, is he going know. to prison? Is he is like is he hidden <laughs> money uh, like Andy does in the book? I've started. I've reread the short story of Shawshank, <laughs> and there's a whole paragraph where Red goes, "Andy, Andy was a man of means. He had a lot of money, and you can get a lot of money into a prison if you'd like. Sometimes you got to go deeper, though." It's a whole weird stretch, um, <laughs> just like Andy has to. That was a stretch too. Anyhow, uh, Will's more general favourite part of the film. I really like the when he's first in Fifty Five and he's walking through the square and it's it. It's the Sandman plays, of course. Song, yes, Sandman. my song. And then, and then it, in the bar when when Biff comes along and it's like, "Hello, I, I love all of that." I mean, this, actually, this might be one of my another ten minute stretch, uh, and then the the car chase and with the skateboard, yeah, I've, and then I've I hate manure. It's wonderful. I've that, cheated and put skate chase in single as an option for single minutes, even though it's not a single minute at all. <laughs> Ava. Um, oh, sorry. Well finished. Finish. Oh no, I just said. Um, 
Well, I mean, Ava? I, the thing, even though you could extend it, it's not just a single minute, but the thing that I knew was not, that was other than the 10 minute stretch was like, I'm literally a sucker for the opening from I'm late for school and just the star of Power of Love and the whole, oh. like, like literally that whole sequence, pretty much like until he meets Jennifer at the school, um, which is probably over a minute. But yeah. that for me is it's a, one. It's one of the great, it's one of the great needle drops uh, in, what are we, th- what else are we throwing up there for needle drops? That. Good fellas, then he kissed me is pretty good. Yes. Or does Good Fellas beat itself with the Layla outro? You've got a couple of great ones in Days and Confused. Yeah. Literally literally the whole of the Days and Confused soundtrack. Oh, um <clears throat> the best in Days and Confused is either Harry Payne, Bob Dylan, or um Tush by Zizi Top. Oh, these are good um, options. Why are you Reservoir. throwing in the best needle drop, Will? Reservoir Dogs. Which one? Um, he's on the chair. Stuck doing... in the middle with you. Yeah. Seal as well. Um, hey, Billy Super Sounds of the 70s Weekend keeps on trucking on. I thought of another one. Go on. And you know what it's going to be once upon a time in Hollywood. That's oh, the yeah. Best needle drop. I love, oh my god, Hush. Uh, Deep Papel. Great song. Um, Ava, I'm, uh, I, I believe you're scheduled in anyway, but I'm sure you'll be joining us for our Once Upon a Time in Hollywood episode for our Tarantino uh, fortnight. We've current, the four that we've currently, currently, oh my god, currently got <laughs> penciled in is Hollywood, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards. Is Sophia on any of those? Probably. Probably worm away in. <laughs> um, uh, Oscar Travesty. I'd say throw it a bone for best original screenplay. I would agree. I mean, we keep facing, we keep coming up against this with the whole, you know, comedy, Oscars don't appreciate comedy thing. Uh, and it's a travis, and that in itself is a travesty. So we're going to ignore it. I'm going to say Michael J. Fox, best actor. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, best supporting actor. Lock it in. I don't have what was nominated that year this week, uh, but next, but uh... I I do. Oh, go on. There we go. I'm ready. Uh, what do you want? Screenplay. Yeah. It was what? Well, it was out of Africa year. Sk- oh. Good mm. God. So, yeah. Cut it all. <laughs> oh, my that bloody film. I have syphilis. I have syphilis. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Go Colour purple. You've got colour purple. Not much better. That I watched that when I was literally six years old and it traumatised me. <laughs> You've got uh, Kiss of the Spider Woman, which William Is Hurt good, won. Yeah. Uh, Prissy's Honour. Good. And the trip to Bountiful. What a lackluster yeah. year. That's... What a shoddy year. Get it, get it in there. It's Google, it, that. Google will films released in 85 now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Here is time. Was um, Breakfast Club oh. 85 or 84? 85. Uh, Breakfast Club is 85. Uh, the Goonies. No, but what the are Goonies. the Oscar contenders? What should have been nominated? Oh, here we go. The best Bond film, A View to a Kill, where he's very old. Did you know that on the set of that film, that's where Roger Moore realised he was going to hang it up because somebody uh, said, because, sorry, the Bond girl's um, mother came to set and everyone was like, oh, wait, the mother is still younger than Roger Moore. And so (laughs) he realised that maybe it was time to end. However, though, Worst Bond film, best Bond song. Mm. And Walken's great in it. I like he is. horses. <laughs> I like riding horses. <laughs> uh, what else was up in 85? You've got Teen Wolf. 
<laughs> I love two more. <laughs> uh, Commando. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> National Lampoon's European Vacation. Oh. <laughs> um, Clue, Fletch. It's Clue and Clue. Fletch. Give, give, Don't even talk to me yeah. about Clue. Fletch <laughs> is going to be <laughs> one of our next episodes after Days and Confused. <laughs> this is a pretty mediocre year. Um, mm. Back to the looking at this, Back to the Future needs a nomination. I'm let's, sorry. Let's give it best picture. <laughs> Done, and it's locked in. Um, Will's favorite building slash set. It's got to be the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. It's that's is is a wonderful, wonderful set. Yeah. And Tom, that that leads us on to. Uh, do you want to talk about the Enchantment Under the Sea dance again? No, it's, I, I uh, told the story. I've, have I told you this one, Ava? Where what? I want to, sure really wanted, I really wanted to be on the prom committee because my <laughs> great idea was to recreate Enchantment Under the Sea. And then they were all boring and they just wanted, no. And then we just ended up with purple and white. Great theme. Mm, I'm sorry. And also, my mother gave us like this 5% alcoholic, like, uh, fizzy cranberry cocktail or whatever for the limo and I drank a lot of it and I had a bladder that was the fullest it's ever been in my life oh my god well, even, <laughs> even more than even more than that bus back from Woolwich oh that was bad too that was the worst I've ever I have yeah. been caught shot well not caught shot I didn't <laughs> piss myself either time but I have been, that is like my worst tendency is to be caught piss stricken. Um, and uh, yeah, and so then I was so full of piss that um, I <laughs> like everyone was like, you open the limo, obviously, and then you take your photo and you smile. I just had to shake the guy's hand and go, where's your toilet? And I bolted. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I don't have any nice pictures in front of the limo. Oh. Um, we uh, what we had uh, the A team then. It was wonderful. We all came out with, oh, yeah. with the guns. My friend had a Mister T wig, and everybody and got the down gold, the gold chain. <laughs> got guns. <laughs> no, we had. Yeah, it was wonderful. First single minute, I've got uh, skate chase or just the race to go back. That doo -doo -doo -doo. just the whole you know, and finally getting there. Great stuff. Ava, you've touched on it, haven't you? The sort of yep. opening, opening power, of power of love. William, you've uh, for me, for me, it's the whole. But it, yeah. yeah. pulling out. Ah, and then <gasps> zip lining. That always looked fun. I love zip liners. Is that is that sarcasm? No, I or, love zip or lines. Do you genuinely love? I or... <laughs> genuinely adore zip lines. I mean, maybe not adore. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely really like zip lines. I, love them. I can't remember the last zip line I was on. Cut to a picture of me landing funny on a zip line. Um, zip lines are great. I love a zip line. I, I really um, best line. Ava, why don't you kick us off this time? <laughs> okay, I've got a few. Um, I think the one that I quote the most is definitely um, there's that word again heavy. <laughs> Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull? Um, that, that for me, is pretty great. Um, on a lesser extent, like when I was reading through them and re-watching, like I love rock and roll um, in the opening. And then also, I think a kind of underrated funny line is um, Jesus George, it's a wonder I was even born when he's outside, <laughs> when his dad has been completely in there. Yeah. This is true. Mm. William? I think top three for me, you've got I Hate Manure, wonderfully delivered in all three movies. Uh, um, we've got Chuck, it's Marvin, your cousin. Yeah, that's Marvin mine. Barry. Oh, yeah. it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Here's the new um, sound you're looking for. <laughs> and then he makes that face and he goes, Listen to this. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, and then I think my favourite line is, um, Marty, you sound familiar to me. Do I know your mother? Uh, it's the delivery. Yeah, I think maybe you do. it's... Oh, that, that whole dinner table scene is... The comic yeah. timing is brilliant. That kid's great. 
the kid with the beaver, the beaver hat. <laughs> it's it's just... like, when he's like, get used to these bars, kid, like, yeah. that's pretty great. Do a lot, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the beaver kid, the whole, um, <laughs> as he will now be known. Um, <laughs> the whole, yeah. Yeah, two TVs. What's a rerun? <laughs> I think he does a great job. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Oh my god. <laughs> How did I forget that? Oh. How did oh they? Man. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. I'm going, yeah, it's definitely it's your cousin Marvin Berry. Uh, I also like Huey's cameo. I'm afraid you're just too darn yeah. loud. <laughs> um, great stuff. Do you know what Robert Zemeckis' favourite line in the film is? What? It's weird. When I kiss you, it's like I'm kissing my brother. <laughs> That's his <laughs> favourite line in the film. Uh, there we go. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, what's the change? Is the one? No. Just no. Don't change it. Keep it. Have it all. Ava. I'm trying to think of one, but there isn't any. I've got one. And it's struck me a few times now. Christopher Lloyd is excellent in the film. He's remarkable. He's very, very good. Apart from, maybe it's the writing, apart from, there's a, like a 30 second stretch where he's talking. After the, they've, tra they've tested the car and it's come back and he goes, oh, you could go to uh, 1955. <sighs> yes, 1955. Oh, that's the day. I figured out time travel. Ah, oh. and then a man used to live here. Old Strickland. And he had a field. Lone Pines. Maybe that's where he came up with Pines. <laughs> what a crazy idea. I think it's half the writing. I, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know how, why it was delivered. And then he's he oh, uh, yeah. slowly walking to the camera. <laughs> the Libyans! <laughs> I caught that. Maybe thing. that's the change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you don't need to change them from being Libyan. I'd just get rid of that towel. Or, or not, <laughs> not. Or also, you wouldn't change it, but it's interesting how there's no explanation or anything as to why a 17-year-old um, high school student is friends with a uh, old man doctor. Uh. <laughs> you know, like, oh, they do. Like, oh you do. There is not a single, not even a lazy line of like, hey, do you remember that time when mm. I crashed my car in your, in your garage? There's not even like the cheapest quickest or when the or when the principal is like oh have you been hanging out with that weirdo <laughs> yeah, dr knows. brown again like stay away from him he's crazy but like what so the whole town knows he hangs out with this like old guy like but yeah i mean it's it's a wonderful wonderful relationship do i see a psychological but... thriller where <laughs> he's befriended this child um I don't know where it would go from there, but um, <laughs> I'm sure there's I'm sure there's something in there. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> What's left from Will's notes? Um, I I just I just like to uh, to mention Biff, the character Biff in in yes, general. Thomas F. Wilson. Good old Tom. It's I think Biff might be my favourite character, uh, as like in all three movies. Mm -hmm. I, I am Marty, but Biff just has the best lines, and he he does it so well. It's over the top, but it works. It works so well. I, I love the just a little say hi to your mum from me. I, the, <laughs> all the little the the hello think big fly. It's just <laughs> it's, oh yes. Uh, Ava, who are you throwing in the ring for best character? You can play the hits. Well, I'm because because I've literally, you know, like been in love with Marty McFly for <laughs> years. I'm just trying to think if, like, if I take that away, if the character on its own 
to substantiate, you know, being the best character and beating out all of the others. But like, I really think he does. And <clears throat> watching the the bonus features, I think it may have been what you sent the other day in the chat, but the, the featurette on, you know, how they made it and the casting and everything. But it is, it really is like a testament to like Michael J. Fox's just sheer charisma charisma and martiness like besides the fact that they had already cast someone and were in five weeks of shooting and then realized no the movie yeah. itself does not exist without michael j fox let's talk about eric stoltz oh i've got half of the fun facts are weird stories about the eric stoltz <laughs> days well, apparently there's still stoltz like bits that are still in the movie there's there's yeah there's one remaining shot it's when uh they go into the diner and um, he's hiding his face, and he goes like this. And um, they kept they kept that because obviously you can't yeah. see Michael J. Fox. Um, yeah, it's Stoltzy, Eric Stoltz. Wow. R.I.P. When did he die? No, I just meant the role <laughs> of Marty. His career. <laughs> his career yeah. Imagine, yeah. Well, the famous story is that obviously they announced it on the set and said, we've got some good news and some bad news. Mm. The bad news is we've had to let Eric go. And then just a random camera guy said, that's the bad news. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Apparently it was, it was the right, it was the right, well, he, he was method, wasn't he? Uh, and he insisted on everyone calling him Marty. <laughs> and he, he would, it, it's just that those people are not nice to work with. Yeah. It's the rarity. At least mm. Daniel, he keeps the voice the whole time, but you can have conversations with him. Like every, every other interview is like, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis is the best guy in the world. He's just like a really nice guy. <laughs> and I, it's, it's <laughs> I remember one where it was just like an extra. And he said, it's really weird having a conversation about the premiership with Abraham Lincoln, but that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> with Daniel. Um, have you, uh, sorry, back to Will's notes. Um, what, what else? We, uh, we've got all of the, the foreshadowing. Really yeah. good writing. What's, what's your favourite part of the... What's your favourite foreshadow? Um, I like... It's not a specific one, but I like how it sets up the whole story of his parents getting together. And then how yeah. you're seeing all those events play out with like... <laughs> He's a peeping Tom and like all of the. <laughs> I know I like Crispin Glover, like <laughs> is, is, is just pretty great. I think he's the he's, unsung hero of the film. He's not in the second one, is he? No. And then he's. They just them. have some weird upside down guy in their like weird kitchen that in is a, clearly not as Crispin a look Glover. Alike, and then Crispin Glover sued them for his likeness. Because mm. they never. Did he, did he win? Yeah, I believe so. You can't just steal somebody's line. <laughs> um, Face off. Yeah, I think him and Leah Thompson are the unsung heroes of this film. Hmm. The modern day stuff, well, modern, but the present day stuff and their transformation. I do. Yeah, yeah. getting those two ages correctly. Yeah. And yeah, hmm. very good. It's excellent stuff. Uh, right, Tom's notes. Pardon me. The boring side of the opening shot. Um, they had to set all those clocks, and that took hours. Iron I was going to say ironically, but it doesn't make any sense. Just because two things have time. Anyway, uh, the food can the dog can they practiced with one dog food, but then uh, the dog food that they got given as product placement uh, didn't drop out of the can. Uh, so they had to heat the can up, and that's why it comes out so sloppy. And uh, droopy. It's not it's as it's not it's as visually not satisfying as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Those two <laughs> cans. Oh, what a great that's can. not good advertising, though, is it? If you want to <laughs> advertise your dog food, and it just <laughs> <laughs> slopping out. Yeah. Um, I know that he's crazy. <laughs> but what experiment is he doing? Oh, I'm going to see if I can put twenty clocks back an hour. What a boring experiment. <laughs> wait, wait. So he's making time machines, but he's also doing... Oh, no, I get it. 
because he's having to set the clocks back an hour so that then he can check on them. Yeah, okay. What the, what's the name of Marty's band? Marty McFly and the Valentines? Or am I making that up? Making that up. There we go. <laughs> what is it? The Pinheads. Oh. Uh, Marty leching at those women in front of Jennifer. Don't like that at all. I know he's the coolest guy in the world or whatever, but you don't do that. And not, not even subtly at all. And then it's like a full 180. Like, And then she's just like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, Marty. Mm-hmm. I guess like she's oozing confidence. I mean, she looks terrific and she seems a great girl. But Claudia Wells. But... um. What? You can't just <laughs> do... Yeah. Uh, clock woman uh, shoving the can. <laughs> Very <laughs> aggressive. Crazy clock woman. <laughs> <laughs> Very aggressive when it comes to... Yeah. Very, <laughs> very aggressive. Um, you mutated son of a bitch! And he's with the shotgun. Uh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, everybody knows it now because it's a, uh, the low... He knocks down one of the pines and it's not the Twin Pine Mall, the Lone Pine Mall. I think I think that was one of our very first conversations, Tom, when you said, oh, do you like Twin Peaks? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> uh, pret- pretending I'd seen it. And then, yeah, and Twin Pines, I love it. You carried on that good Back to the future of uh, when you attempted to pretend to have watched uh, three episodes of Mad Men. <laughs> Mad Men, yes. And uh, I caught you in your trap straight away. You did, you did. I, I, basically, I basically did the whole, oh, do you like the dog scene? Uh, yeah, I do. There is no dog. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't smart on my behalf. You just fell straight into it. Go on, sorry. Well, what were you going to say? Oh, nothing. You were. Cut, you were going to say that out. No, you said fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah. Oh, I was just making a. I was going to say fun fact. I haven't actually seen Back to the Future, but that oh. joke doesn't work <laughs> anymore in the context. I think it does. <laughs> yeah, sure. Throw it in. <laughs> you, you just <laughs> with the, op- the opening. Um, Ava, you still haven't watched Mad Men, have you? Stubborn. I've watched the first like thirteen minutes, as you know. That that s that number keeps shortening. It used to yeah, be yeah because half an yeah because I overcompensated to tell you that, but now I'm just less and less giving a shit. And what did you turn it off to watch? SpongeBob. I'd like I to just, throw in. Go ahead. I'd like to throw in another best line. It's just the delivery delivery of the uh, mayor. Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> I was like, what? But also, he doesn't change <laughs> that. He does. That's not something Marty changes because he's already going to be mayor. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't know it at that but time. He inspires him. He creates the mayor. No, like, hey. because then we go. That's the only one, the only foreshadow for me that doesn't make. Well, I don't know. I think you need to have. Mm. Oh no, because then he's not going to say, "Yeah, you can, you're going to be mayor." <laughs> so he's not going to say that. Mayor, a coloured <laughs> mayor. That'll be the day. Good old Mister Carruthers. Um, <laughs> 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 it's one line. <laughs> um, Marty just rips a page out of the yellow pages and then yes. he's holding it in front of the guy. Why does the <laughs> angry Mr. Carruthers not go, hey, that's my yellow page? We'll never know. Here we go. Everybody's favourite segment. Zane! Well. In Zane in the membrane, Billy Zane is in this film. <laughs> What's the best Billy Zane cameo? Is it this? Or Zoolander. Or Zool- it's Zoolander. Zool- it's a walk-off. It's a walk-off. <laughs> it's Zoolander. Put a cork in it, Zane. On the old prairie, where the coyotes howl, and the wind blows free, in a narrow grave. Six by three. Put a cork in it, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> or oh. uh, Holmes and Watson. 
Have you seen? Did you see that? No, Travis I Stephen didn't. Movie? Did you? <laughs> but, uh, no, who I'm not he, admitting to he, that. I'm not. Who does he uh, come here as? There she goes, out of his chef. Yeah. <gasps> what? Zane Zeno? That is Billy Zane. Sherlock. <laughs> wow. Er ist umwerfend. Who is the bar of this gun? They, they wave off the Titanic and Billy Zane's on the top. And they're like, hey, look, it's Billy Zane. And he's just there on the Titanic. Why would they ruin... That's a really oh good God. joke. Why would they ruin it by going, hey, it's Billy Zane? <laughs> oh, That's a really a good man. joke. It's a great I joke. I like that. But then they ruin <laughs> it with... It's, oh, also, Million, Days, Million, uh, Million Ways to Die in the West. Really bad film. Great Back to the Future joke. Wonderful Back to the Future yeah. joke. What's the Again, joke? wasted on a bad film. Yeah, Seth MacFarlane just creeps into a cabin and it's um, Doc uh, and he's got the DeLorean in part three. I mean, it doesn't make any sense because obviously he looks mm. 30 years older. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, we love, we love, we love Billy. Yeah, I think, I think another thing is how has Christopher Lloyd seem to appear the same elderly age for the past 40 years. <laughs> he was like, born a 60 year old man. Yeah, I'm literally like, when was this man born? Because I remember in 2015, <laughs> when obviously, you know, it was the um, 21st of October, um, and they and it was on Jimmy Kimmel, and they had the DeLorean and Michael mm. J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd were inside it as if they'd, you know, come back to that day. And I'm like, you know, with all due respect, you know, I I thought he was an old man in 1985. So how is he still here? Yeah, it looks yeah. it looks old in in Taxi. His like first job. Yeah, good stuff. We love we love Christopher Lloyd. Love uh, I adore Leah Thompson in this film. As I've already said, she's the unsung hero, but also beautiful. Great prom dress. She looks great in it. <laughs> Again, that. Tom's. Appreciation of clothing. Tom's wonderful list of women. Um, yeah, it's a great shawl. Uh, I like. <laughs> I like a woman in a shawl. So any, anybody in shawls? <laughs> <laughs> Dial this phone. number. And Not anymore. <laughs> uh, make like a tree. Can you explain this to me? What? 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 What is this? Do people say this? Uh, Biff what does, apparently. Make like, make, like, make like a tree, what is it? get out of here. Get out of here. Trees don't get out of places. Yeah, trees stand still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never understood it, it's always annoyed me. Neither. Um, oh, oh, it's, uh, I, I'm on Urban Dictionary. There you go. Make like a tree, it's, it's a play on words. It means leave, like leaves. Oh. Um, mm. You should have said, do like a tree does at the end in winter and leave. <laughs> That's a better line. <laughs> okay. uh, Doc Brown just has framed scientists and is. Uh, <laughs> oh, Tom. Uh, uh, no family, though. Um, I like the back and forth of. Uh, who you call in spook, pack of wood, and then, hey, I don't want any trouble with you reefer addicts. <laughs> it's a nice back and forth. Yeah, also, obviously, obviously they're black, and it's 1955. Surely they don't want to risk getting in trouble with the law in 1955 by smoking a massive joint in a car behind the school. Surely they should wait until the gig's over. I mean, behind them, there's two people doing incest, so they shouldn't be too worried. <laughs> and also, them. like, yeah, yeah, it's the 50s, but also, yeah, it's the 50s. Like, cops aren't going to be patrolling outside of school dance. Like, all this shit can go down and no one will be none the wiser. Yeah, but it's not... But obviously, for black people, it's different. Mm. We're a bit it would be different that. if there was a cop like we it's not as if like we saw a cop like like see Biff in the car with 
um, Elaine, and the cop was like, oh, okay, carry on. Who's Elaine? No. Lorraine. Lorraine. Lorraine, Lorraine! Oh, shit. Elaine! <laughs> Elaine! Elaine! Yeah. Elaine. <laughs> Where's that guy? What's he doing? Take care of him, he's too late. Are we doing? Are we doing that? Is it coming? Oh, 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 (laughs) (laughs) one of my tops of all time. (laughs) Elaine, (laughs) Elaine, Ben. Oh, it's brilliant. It's too late! It's too late! Not for me! Okay! It's too late! Not for me! <laughs> and and uh, who, are we, who are we gonna schedule in for that one, Ava? I don't know. The real Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> I don't pretend to be the real Mrs. Robinson because I'm not a Mrs. No, I'm talking about your mother. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's a great film. We love the film. Well, she'd probably she'd probably be more enthusiastic about Caddyshack, seeing as that Let's is do, like her. We'll do, a, we'll do a Debbie Fortnight. She can pick four films. Oh God. <laughs> um, I pray for you. <laughs> well, I prayed and my ears have been answered. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's next? I've got two band names because obviously the famous band name is McFly. Why? What? Why not? Photo in the threats. Threats, not threats. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. If, if you delivered that line well, it might have been funny. Photo in the threats. I like that. I like laugh of the ginger because the ginger man who pulls Lorraine away <laughs> and then suddenly starts <laughs> cackling. <laughs> oh, an odd's choice. He's definitely Tangent. going for it. The uh, second movie, that, just after that, uh, bust up in the car park the guy that does i think he took his wallet that is the best part of back to the future too can't remember it it's been that's my secret it's not a shame but like i haven't watched the sequels in like a good decade well now's your chance (laughs) we'll have to schedule it in now i can't watch movies unless they're scheduled in now (laughs) i feel naughty um not to, you know, bring up a notorious sex criminal, but does Biff realise that he's dressed like Jimmy Savile in that final scene and he's got the exact same haircut? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got... I don't, I don't think he realised either the Biff or the costume design. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to dress like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> what if they did? <laughs> what if he was like? <laughs> it was all intention. I got this. Mm. Uh, this I've been researching this seventies. This British well, like, this British comedian. Um, I love Happy Biff when he's like, "Oh hi Marty." Oh hi Marty. Here's your <laughs> yeah. I got your book. What's the book called? Something time, in space. The time machine. No, A it's match like made in space. Yeah. Does George think that Marty's the dad? Does George think that... <laughs> of his child. Of his child. Because does George think maybe Lorraine caught up with Marty again and they had a couple of flings in, I don't know, a motel room? Because Definitely. You can't he, get he looks around a, the fact that it looks they a bit like the him. same voice. <laughs> Yeah, that's the whole thing. How, after all the all of this, like, after the change, when they finally go back, like, at the end, and you see how Marty's, you know, his family and everything has shifted, why is Marty the only one who's constant? Like, why hasn't he changed, like, either uh, physically so or, yeah. like, you know, and how his siblings and his parents, their, not their brains, but, you know, their mentality have changed because they have now led this entirely different life. How is Marty the only one who doesn't, go unchanged and he sees it all being like what is this house like who are all of you you know that's that's the one bit that i'm like i've uh, never like, i've never really got behind like long conversations about how time travel doesn't work yeah just annoys me not to like, undermine why... not to undermine <laughs> well, no, but that's, that's with the second one like how it goes how yeah it's just yeah. like too much like I can abide thinking about the things that happened in the first one mm. but the second one I'm like Ugh. well that's my Terminator 1 and 2 1 
clean, nice. Two, clean, nice. Three, four, mess. Mm. And also not good films, but beside that point. Do you know what, so basically, Sid Sheinberg, the producer of the film, um, didn't like the title Back to the Future. Everybody else did, but he didn't like it. Do you know what he recommended? I feel like you may have said this before, but I can't think. He wanted it to be called Incest in the Past. I'm kidding. Genuinely? No, I'm, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> he wanted uh, Spaceman from Pluto. And so everybody was like very worried. And they were like, we yeah. can't name it this film. So Steven Spielberg sent uh, Sid Scheinberg a note saying, um, thank you so much for this hilarious joke, Sid. It's really uh, cheered us up this morning on this stressful movie. And Sid never mentioned it again. <laughs> That's um, funny. This, the set of this town has been used in what other films? One of them's Monster Squad, which is a personal favourite of mine. Uh, but the other one is more well known. I 1984. Watched... <sighs> same weekend Ghostbusters was released. Ghostbusters. This time it was covered in snow. Uh, oh, Groundhog I'm gonna... Day. No. Oh, that's... no. Same letter. Okay, what... What is it? Gremlins. <sighs> um, but, 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 uh, Michael J. Fox thinks he's terrible in the film. Oh, he's wrong. I, I can't think of anyone else. Mm. Uh, it, again, like we were, we were saying in uh, Ferris Spooler. That there's there's no one else. Definitely not Eric Snoltz. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Drew Struzan's poster, the incomparable Drew Struzan. This is the first film where we've got a Drew Struzan poster. Uh, incredible uh, designer. Um, a montage now of <laughs> Drew Struzan. Uh, did Shawshank, he did The Thing, uh, Raiders... I think he did a couple of the Star Warses, if I'm correct. Mm. I don't know if he did that yeah. one in your over your shoulder. Um, that but, one. Um, them, yeah. uh, Dean Cundy, the guy who did the cinematography for this, also did the cinematography for Halloween 1978. Um, what a film. Incredible film. Jurassic Park, lots of other films. Do you know what he's done recently? Uh, an Avengers movie. Jack and Jill. Al Pacino's oh, no. best cameo. <laughs> Say hello to my chocolate blend. Attica, who I lucky like. This whole trial is out of sight. They put me back in with hazelnut too. Caramel swirl. I know it was you. Everyone wants my Dunkachino. Can't get enough of my Dunkachino. Kids from 7 to 17 lining up for my Dunkachino. Uh, <laughs> very good stuff, very good stuff. <laughs> Did we all get a chance to go on the ride in Florida? <laughs> yes. I it's bad. when it's when did bad. it did it exist? <laughs> yes, it existed from <laughs> when, Well, I was there in the first time I was there was 2013, so it wasn't that. No, it was Simpsons. Yeah, I, I've I've been on it virtually through through yeah. YouTube videos. I've yeah. never been to America. Ever? Never, never. Should check it out. That'd <laughs> 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 be go, back now. Go, go to the Back to the Future uh, ride. I mean, you can. It's still on in. Uh, go back. It? If I had <gasps> Lauren, I would go back in time to the Back to the Future ride. And then crash through. <laughs> and everyone's like, this I is was incredible. It. I was, it was so disappointing. What, like, the, the storyline. They no, could have no, lose the Back so to the Future much. ride. I know, yeah, yeah exactly. Anything with Back to the Future. But Literally that. anything. Like, I think it's I really don't... good. No, no. I really like it. <laughs> what, you like a dinosaur? With like terrible like nineties <laughs> graphics. It looks like Godzilla. I know, and you, like you're at Universal Studios, where like you have so many Jurassic Park, you know, before Jurassic World happened, where there's like a classic, well loved 
Jurassic Park ride. Why that is you... a good ride. Oh. My sister and famously ter- terrified, terrified of that ride. <laughs> uh, you know, go on. Best, best in all of Florida or best in no that Universal. Park? Universal. Are we including Islands of Adventure? Uh, well, the best thing out of Islands of Adventure is obviously the Hulk, and that's it. No, I'm a sucker for Dudley Do Right trips or falls. Um, the Mummy is great. Oh, the Mummy is good. Yeah. I loved Jaws, but they've take, got rid of that as well now. Just keep ripping things out. It's very <laughs> annoying. Don't like it at all. Um, the movie, the cinema. What's on the cinema in 1985? What? Orgy American style. 24 hour open, 24 hours, $5 entry. What's, uh, what's on in the cinema in 1955? Something with Reagan. Something with Reagan. Cowboy something. Cattle Queen of Montana. Yeah. What's on in the other cinema? In 1955. It's a very apt choice. Back to the future. <laughs> Two. Oh. Oh, no, 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 Star Wars. It's the Atomic Kid. And that is that. Um, the music video. Really weird opening. It goes, the opening goes on for far too long. I know, and then it like didn't come back. Like I actually <laughs> fast forward to the end to see if Christopher Lloyd came back and he no, didn't. It disappeared. And it's just like, she would lose this thing. <laughs> and right. it like stressed me out when like he was saying to people, don't touch anything. And then he just willingly let all of these strangers into the glory. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. And then I ex- kept expecting like halfway through the song, like them to be, I don't know, like even really cheaply, just like showing up in places. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. It's very weird. Uh, and we've touched Eric Stoltz. Um, it's not based on a book. <laughs> uh, there's no alternate ending. A few fun facts. Do do. I've got go. one. Shoot. Uh, it was the slowest film to ever reach two hundred million dollars at the box office. Uh, Two weeks longer than My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yeah. There you go. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is like a massive hit. And nobody knows why. <laughs> the character Martin McFly is credited as a performer on the song Johnny Be Good. It is actually sung by Mark Campbell with a guitar solo by Tim May. That's for one and two, isn't it? Yeah. For the video release, To Be Continued was added before the closing credits. This title has since disappeared from the DVD release. It's not on my Blu-ray. <laughs> uh, thank God there are more people like Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale. In a 2015 interview, Zemeckis maintained that no reboot or remake of the franchise would be authorised during his or Gale's lifetime. Which is wonderful. Let's, let's talk about the musical then. Oh. Which... I'm on the waiting list for. Yeah. Can't wait. If you ever get to see it. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, yes. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, reviews were okay. Sorry, I got cancelled. I I, I watched a performance. It was Sport Relief, was it? And they came on. It was fine. Um, I think that Power of Love wasn't the best. No. Uh, I'm hoping that's a bigger song in the actual musical, but they just like brought it down for the yeah. special, but that wasn't, that wasn't great. That's, and that's that the, the big song. They did. Uh, Bob Zemeckis and um, Bob Gale received a fan letter from John DeLorean after the film's release, thanking them for immortalizing his car, which is obviously <laughs> true. Uh, the script was rejected how many times before it was greenlit? 44. Have you got the same? You've got the same sheet up, haven't you? <laughs> no, uh, no. Apparently, Ronald Reagan was amused by Doc Brown's disbelief that an actor liked him uh, could become president. So much so that he had the projectionist stop and replay the scene. He also <laughs> seemed to enjoy it so much that he even made a direct reference to the film in his 1986 State of the Union address. 
as they said in the film Bats the Future, where we're going, we don't need roads. Mm. Ah. Um, Christopher Lloyd stated that he always wanted to do one more movie where they travelled where? Uh, I, I'm guessing Very Far Into the Past. Dinosaurs? Ancient Rome. Ancient Rome. Ooh. What, in the train? In the steampunk train? Oh, oh yeah. That was... <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe, Lara. maybe. Um, Crispin Glover claimed to have seen the film only once shot yet after its release. In contrast, Christopher Lloyd stated that when he occasionally uh, stumbles across the film, he would often sit and watch it. Oh. <laughs> uh, musician Mark Campbell did all of Michael J. Fox's singing. Um, he became the singer of the 1980s band Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. Uh, here we go. During this time on the film and being a method actor, Eric Stoltz refused to answer to any other name but that of his character, Martin McFly. When Christopher Lloyd was told that Stoltz was to be replaced, he asked, who's Eric? And further explanation added, oh, I really thought his name was Marty. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful man. <laughs> it took three hours in makeup to turn the 23-year-old Leah Thompson into the 47-year-old uh, Lorraine. The film was banned in China mainland for a while because the notion of time travel disrespects history not because of the incest no they love that uh, uh, eric stoltz insisted that the casting crew address him as marty he would also wear marty's wardrobe while traveling to and from the set each day according to thomas f wilson the only time that method acting stoltz would break character was when Eric would actively flirt with Leah Thompson in between takes. Oh, oh my Eric. God. Stolt, you dog. <laughs> uh, what's the name of Billy Zane's character? Oh, it's... It, it, uh, Something it's like... A light of fire. Match. Match. Candle. Match. Uh, no, it is match. <laughs> in the original script, Doc Brown and Marty sell bootleg videos in order to fund the time machine. The plot was removed at Universal's request as they did not want to be seen as promoting movie piracy. And there's some fun facts for you. Thank you. What's the change? Uh, we've done what's the change. Biggest <laughs> <laughs> Drunk. Uh, I'm not. It's only 111. Mind you, drunk, drunkenness waits for no man. Uh, Tom's big question, I've got a couple. Is this the best film? Is this the best 50s in a film? I'm not accepting films in the 50s, so I'm not accepting your Rebel Without a Cause or whatever. What, so it would have had to have been a film that was shot in a different decade? Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, saying that it is my favourite film, I've got to say yes, but then you've got... Um, what Greece. The, Greece. Greece. Greece, Edward, ooh. It, Edward, is that? Ed, Edward, oh, is that the 50s? No, that's more the 50s, 60s. I don't know. But Greece, Greece is up there. That's, that's yeah. one of the best 50s films. I completely forgot about Greece, of course. Mm. We but don't, Denzel. none of us want a remake. But if they did remake it, what would be... I mean, none of the news would make us happy. But what headline would we be like, okay, I'm interested. I'm talking actors, I'm talking a director, writer. Which names? And it's not like a reinvention. It's the same. It's Martin McFly. They'd probably do the thing now where he's present day and he goes back to 1985. Well, well, Spielberg wouldn't touch it. So, and then you mm. ask yourself, what, how, well, A, obviously, you know, how could you make this better? Why would you have any need to remake it? But if, you know, who it, else? W yeah. It's got to be like Zac Efron or someone, isn't it? It's going to be awful. Zac Efron's too buff to play. He's going to be Marty. big. Yeah. Zac Efron would be a great bit. Marty's like... Your, um, your Ferris Bueller from the other day. He's got that. He's not... 
lanky. Who you'd think would be the popular kid. But obviously he's the best guy in school. I, I, I do like Christopher's idea of going back to like a, a big proper ancient time in history. I, I, I'm just a sucker for ancient history. But you don't but, like the dinosaur idea? No, that's, that's not ancient, that's Jurassic. Oh, watch out! <laughs> watch out! Get Biff! It, no, hey. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I retract my earlier comment. Biff is wonderfully over the top in the movie, and it works. But in that ride, he just makes very strange noises. <laughs> He's like, Ugh! you got to get me! <laughs> get, oh. Come on! Catch me! <laughs> Um, is this the best Robert Zemeckis movie? Let's go through them. Uh, Polar one. Express is oh, up there for me. Oh my. I love Polar Express. It's my favourite Christmas movie of all time. Oh. But back to the I was bit, but... talking about Death Becomes <laughs> Her or What Lies Beneath or Forrest Gump or Castaway. Um, not bloody Polar Express. I like That's Beowulf. Wonderful. Ugh. What Lies Beneath is great. Death Becomes Her is great. Mm. He's a great director. He's a sneaky... Oh. He's a sneaky... Uh, what, what Lies... Is that the one with um, Michelle Pfeiffer in the bath? Yeah, don't say, like, anything, don't say anything else. She hasn't seen it. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, can we do that? Can we, can we schedule that one in? Yeah, why That's not? That's a wonderful let's, movie. Oh, let's move it. Oh, what could, oh, Let's... <laughs> do you want to move Indecent Proposal? No, no, <laughs> never, never. We're keeping that. Oh, we'll skip. We'll, we'll we'll put it in on. We'll put it in on three. We'll find a spot. Wait, we should spread out your bonds and not do Skyfall yeah. Casino back to back. Yeah, we'll do what lies beneath. Well, anyway, glimpse behind the curtain. Um, they're my questions. Do either of you any have any burgeoning questions that have been on your mind the whole time? Did, did we ask you, Tom, where, where you'd go? Yeah. You, said, probably, you uh, said 55. Yeah, I probably said 55. A anywhere else? Mm. I, don't, I like your idea of 1979 set of Caddyshack. <laughs> Just to meet Chevy and get punched by him like he does with all of his fans. Chevy <laughs> a real bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> but we love him. But we love him. Yeah. I'd get in early with Chevy and be his good friend. And then I'd stand by and then what, for him to then for him to then resent you and disassociate and It'd become more popular than him and then he just gets angry at them too. <laughs> oh. oh Chevy. But we'll we'll no doubt talk at great length about I mean we're gonna have to, it's it's his movie, Fletch. Um, synopsis of a sequel, we've got two, and as much as we think, as much as we say they're a steady decrease, I think we're rather lucky, they're, they're both pretty great, it's a case of, you know, my Godfather thing, because, God, well no, bad example, because Godfather Part 3 is actually quite bad, but Godfather Part 3 is so bad, because the other two films in the trilogy are maybe the two greatest films ever made. And Back to the Future is one of the better films ever made. Yeah, it's, you can argue, well, they do decline in value, but that doesn't mean that the third one's bad. They're still all fantastic movies. Mm. But we just got Clara, which just ruins it. I'm so, we'll have this argument again when we do. Steenbergen. Don't begrudge Mary Steenbergen. <laughs> Who's Mary Steenbergen's famous husband? Don't know. Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Closing line Hall of Fame. The, now we're now we're hitting some now it's good. We've had a few we've had a few contentious <laughs> episodes, Ava, where the final lines and I think Dazed and Confused is gonna be one, isn't it? Because it's just like eh, it's probably just gonna be, hey, get in the car. But this. Oh yeah, those those are like muttered lines, but like the last significant line is good. 
Oh, this is, no, no, we're this very the strict. Last line. We're very strict. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, Muttered we or could, not, it's the we last can't have the... audible line that I can hear <laughs> and write. One, down. two, three, four. Oh, one. Yeah, La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, so, roads, where we're going. Oh, roads. I, I, I put that in the top ten mm. of all time. It, maybe in top five. Uh, that's that iconic. Yeah. It's it's wonderful. Ava, have you got what's coming to your head right now as top final lines ever? And where does roads? I, I I wasn't thinking of other lines. I was just relishing in that line Rose. because it's true. Um, I think beautiful friendship is up there. Yeah. Well, I have my top my top five. <laughs> uh, three Billy Wilders and two eighties comedies um, to do. And the, so the Billy Wilders are obviously Sunset Boulevard. And now, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Some like it hard. Um, well, nobody's perfect. Oh. I can never have children. We can adopt some. But you don't understand, Osgood. Oh, I'm a man. Well, nobody's perfect. And the apartment, shut up and deal. Cut. I love you, Miss Kubley. Three. Queen. Did you hear what I said, Miss Kubley? I absolutely adore you. Shut up and deal. And then I also, and then I like Clue. I'm going to go home and have sex with my wife. Okay, Chief, take him away. I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife. <laughs> and then Caddyshack. Hey, we're all going to get laid. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid. <laughs> um, great stuff. Great lines. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, but okay. roads, where we're going, we don't need them. Excellent line. Top five. And this has been Back to the Future 1985. Mrs. Robinson, we've got you next week for... Is it your favourite film of all time? It's definitely top three. I think if I really like sat down, I think it will be top one. Pretty excellent film. That's Dazed and Confused. But in the meantime, final thoughts on... Backy. If you... <laughs> Nobody's ever called no. it that. No! Nobody's ever called it Backy. Ever. <laughs> Do you have any I'll final thoughts on uh, Futury? No, not, no. Not after that. No. Do you have any final thoughts, Tom? No. <laughs> I'm spent. <laughs> and I'm spent. Um, and I'm spent. Yeah, I don't Great have any film. final thoughts on uh, Back to the Future 1985. Um, if you've not seen it, watch it, obviously. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. yeah, good film. I like how it's, and you've had the same thing with Jaws where it's come around and people are like, oh no, this is like one of the best films ever made. There is no, not shame, but there's no like lessering it because it's a sci-fi or lessering mm. it because it's an 80s comedy or something. Well, this... 80s are the in thing, aren't they, at the moment? Oh well, yeah. Well, this is the thing, the two decade thing. In the 80s, they made movies about the 50s because that's when everybody was kids. 90s, you've got a lot of 70s movies. 2000s, you've got a lot of... Um... But my theory's gone wrong straight away because <laughs> 80s is now, and now they're making 90s movies. So in the 2000s, nobody cared. Oh, um, that's literally, like, 
I mean, I'll, I'll discuss this and dissect this in the Days of Confused episode because mm-hmm. it is one of the greater quotes that is actually discussed about the every oh, yeah. other decade theory. So aside from what's being made into movies, but that there's always um, nostalgia and um, a rose-tinted perspective for a past generation that wasn't yours. Rose tint um, my world, keep me safe so. from my trouble and pain. But, what you film? know, it doesn't discredit. What film? For Fuck. what? Rose to my world keeps me safe from my trouble and pain. Pain! Rocky what? Horror. Rocky Horror. Oh. Sorry, you have to speak to my other half. <laughs> yes, my assistant. <laughs> uh, Sophia Jones. Yes, name drop. Uh, no, it's been a pleasure having you, Ava, and we'll see you next week for yes. Richard Linkletter's Dazed and Confused, which I believe will be a virgin watch for you, Will. It will. I, I've never seen it. Throwing him in the deep end with the big boys. For a treat. <laughs> uh, he'd never even heard of it, Ava. Don't, um, don't tell her that. No, no, it's... I, I don't... I'm not... Um, like shamer blind to think it's not as if it's like oh you've never seen back to the future you've never seen the godfather like i know it's not a widely known um yeah it is sort picture. of uh yeah a sneaky it, it it has like you would say it's a cult movie yeah definitely but it's not a mainstream cult following no like no. dodgeball oh what a film that's good oh <laughs> It. Yeah, that's no, a better after can... credits than than uh, Ferris Bueller. Oh my Bueller. god, that is the best after credits. <laughs> period. Chuck <Yeah>. Norris. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we're going to end it. <laughs> and that's how we're going to end the episode on that uh, scene. So uh, thank you very much, Avery. We'll see you next thank time. Thank you. Oh, it's all right. And thank you, Vil. Thank you, Tom. Well, it's my pleasure. <laughs> and cut to dodgeball. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you what it has to charge. What the boys go crazy for. Dabba 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 da da ba 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 ba